hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in my name is MC for those who are new here I am into luxury fashion lifestyle and beauty so if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you don't miss out all the videos I upload so today we're going to do a unboxing haul video of the items particularly cosmetics I bought last weekend so if you're interested in this kind of topics stay tuned so based on the title of this video I purchased MAC cosmetics some are repurchased and some are new to me but I'm sure everybody knows uh, what these products are but uh, before I show you this MAC cosmetics I'm going to mention two products that are not from MAC but I love them that's why I continue to uh, repurchase since many of you have been asking me what hair product I use on my hair to maintain it so I ought to share with you I have been using this product it's the Carastas Paris I don't know how to pronounce it but <laughs> I call it Carastas Paris and it's another hair product I love using uh, it's the Carastas Reflection Chromatic Conditioner this is my holy grail as you can see my hair is color treated and I've been doing this over the years this conditioner nourishes my hair neutralizes water particles to protect color for vibrancy and shine it creates an anti-deposit effect on hair fibers surface it provides uv filters against harmful external aggressors and i use this as daily conditioner it's also uh, great for all hair types this is a bit pricey considering the size it's only 200 ml and uh, the price is 2050 but i love this it really makes my hair smooth and shiny another great product i repurchased from estee lauder is this dual face treatment oil that nourishes and revitalizes the skin without feeling oily i love that it has moringa extract that significantly firms and smooths the look of dry lines leaving the skin feeling supple and radiant so the price of this is 5,300 pesos I hope you can see it with this you can add a drop or two for a touch of added radiance to your moisturizer or foundation but remember to shake it first before adding and this is non-acnogenic and won't clog pores I decided to repurchase this because the one I'm using from Chanel which is the Sublimage Lextrate Treatment Reconstituent Intense uh, Restoring Treatment. I'm done with it. So I use this oil serum to massage my face with this thing here. It's the Optimizer Voyage Tri Light Plus Plus. It's a custom LED Sonic Flash Facial. I've never done a review. Uh, about this tool yet but i'm planning to do one in the very near future remember this one i bought this uh, from sephora and this is what it looks like i'm in the box it's from skin clinic and remember guys i don't stick to one product and brand only because i don't want to get immune I've mentioned that in one of my vlogs in the past so I tend to rotate uh, from one product and brand to another so now let's go to MAC Yay. so the first MAC cosmetic I bought was this Studio Fix Complete Coverage Cushion Compact it's with SPF 50 plus 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 I got the shade NC30. It's a yellow undertone. I absolutely need this, especially when I don't want to put my makeup on. Look at the 
container it's so so pretty if I don't want to put my makeup on this one if I want my face or skin to still look good hiding some of the imperfections that's why I decided to buy this and this is what it looks like it's a cushion and then when you open there's also a mirror when you open it this is my first time guys to be using a cushion foundation like this so to open you just have to pull this out it looks dark but it's not i tried the sample from the store so and this shade matches me well so i'm going to uh, review this sometime in the future so next is the mac black powder slash press this is the uh, black press version i i have been using the uh, blotting paper but i want to try this one because it is said that this offers a very sheer finish again this is my first time to use the product and i hope it will simply work because you know I'm a bit oily, thus my makeup melts pretty quick. And makeup oxidizes on my skin as well, very easily. And I got in the shade medium. So, there you go. It's just a normal uh, looking pressed powder, but it actually blots uh, makeup. In case I forgot to mention the price of some of the items here, I'm going to include them in the description box below. So this one is a MAC Fix Plus Passion. This one is a mini mood boosting setting spray in passionate strawberry and peach scent. I use this before and after makeup as it refreshes and sets makeup. I got this size because it's convenient to carry around in my bag and weigh less. So it's small and it fits in my small bags as well. And unlike this size, uh, both this one have the same purpose, setting makeup to last for a longer period. So I use this at home and I'm going to take this out with me every time to set my makeup. Now, the last item is this MAC Velux or Velux Brow Liner. It is a brow pencil in the shade Brunette and it also has its own spoolie. This is sheer enough to match every hair color. The one I'm wearing now is the uh, professional brow liner from Benefit and although I love that it breaks off easily so I'm going to switch back to using this one so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you have questions suggestions or uh, any topic you would want me to include um, in my next video, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I love reading all your comments. I'll see you on my next one. Bye! <laughs>